how have you gone approaching global OEMs to share their data with you? Have they been, has it been interesting, um, uh, easy or hard? They've been really, um, really amazing to work with, actually. So we've got five um, OEM partnerships, um, they're all kind of in that scientific field. Um, and we've got different relationships and we work differently with each one of them because they've got different remanufacturing policies, for example. Um, so I'll give you an example. Agilent Technologies, they're a big global company. Um, they've got remanufacturing centralised in the States. So they might have equipment where they've, they know, yes, they can take that, take that equipment back, give a rebate, reman send it back to the States, remanufacture it and then send it back out. But then there's a lot of SKUs that might not fall within that remanufacturing category. So then that we actually partner with them and then they let us try to help relocate that because there's still so many secondary benefits of them being able to keep their equipment in use out in the market. They still get um, the preventative maintenance um, revenue, they get the service revenue, they get the consumables. So they're still, and then they're keeping their competitors out of the market as well. So there's a lot of um, secondary tiered benefits to just selling the equipment brand new and, um, and getting it out there. So yeah, that's kind of the that's amazing because sometimes you hear the argument that um, why would a company want to sell something secondhand? It's going to can cannibalise their their new stock. So you're finding that's not necessarily a problem in all industries. Com yeah, completely. So we've got um, another OEM that we partner with, and they're really focused on sort of the tier one organisations. So um, they're peak scientific. They do like uh, nitrogen gas generators, for example, um, and they they can get a good return on investment for selling in the new generators but then some of the secondary markets where the labs aren't as high end, the return on investment might not, might not be that um, good an opportunity for th those sorts of businesses. So us being able to be their partner of the secondary market as well enables them to break into more markets that they wouldn't uh, otherwise be able to. And their life cycle of their um, generators are 15 plus years easily, but a lot of the tier one organisations might depreciate it over five to seven years. So there's just a, a huge secondary market there that wasn't tapped into before.